here I'm going to discuss useful definitions and terms related to cargo numericals. How to solve cargo numericals related to cargo storage. So the first thing is we should know what is the space occupied by a unit cargo. For example, suppose this is a one ton of cargo, how much space this cargo will occupy. So there is a term called storage factor and that is defined as volume occupied by a unit weight of cargo. Well, we can say storage factor is equal to volume divided by weight of cargo. Volume is expressed in cubic meter and the weight is expressed in tons. In US, this is also expressed in cubic feet by long ton. Well, you should know that one metric ton is 1000 kilogram and one long ton is 1016.05 kilogram. So we are interested in this space occupied by a ton of cargo. Say if the storage factor of a cargo is 4.5 cubic meter per ton, that means one ton of this cargo will occupy 4.5 cubic meter per ton. Well, this is a reciprocal of density. So we know that density is equal to mass over volume. The storage factor is volume over mass or weight. So we can write the density is a reciprocal of the storage factor. This means that if the cargo is high density, then it will have low storage factor. As per IMSBC code, which is International Maritime Solid Bulk Cargoes Code, high density solid bulk cargo is defined, which means that the storage factor should be 0.56 cubic meter per ton or less. So if the cargo, if I mean the solid bulk cargo is having a storage factor 0.56 cubic meter per ton or less, that is high density solid bulk cargo. Now let me define broken storage that is unfilled space between the packages. Suppose this is a cargo compartment and these are some coils loaded. So here there will be unfilled space here, unfilled space here, unfilled space here and so on. We can see clearly that this broken storage is variable and that depends on the type of cargo and also shape of the cargo hold. You can also conclude from this picture that large size or irregular shape of cargo means there will be high broken storage. Well, this broken storage is expressed as the percentage of volume of cargo. That means the storage factor is a storage factor plus the broken storage percentage of a storage factor. So this storage factor is the corrected storage factor. A storage factor is nothing but the volume occupied by unit cargo. So this is the volume occupied by unit cargo plus broken storage that is percentage of the volume of cargo. So it is added to the storage factor. Now let me uh, solve this uh, simple numerical. Suppose this is a cargo compartment, length is 10 meter, breadth is 8 meter here and depth is 6 meter. So the volume will be length into breadth into depth which is 480 cubic meter. Suppose there is a cargo which is having a storage factor as 4 cubic meter per ton. Now we need to find how much cargo can be loaded completely. Well, it's very easy to understand. Suppose density is equal to mass over volume. So the storage factor is reciprocal of density, which is volume over mass. 
Well, instead of mass, we can represent as weight of cargo. So weight of cargo is volume over the storage factor. From this relationship, you can figure it out. So volume is 480 cubic meter and the storage factor is 4 cubic meter per ton. Very easy. If you write the unit, then it's very easy. This is cubic meter and cubic meter get cancelled. So I get 120 ton. Now, suppose this broken storage is 10%. That means the storage factor plus 10% of the storage factor. Well, this is 4 plus 10% of 4. So that gives you 4.4 cubic meter. Okay, so the weight of cargo, again volume divided by storage factor, similar to this relationship, weight of cargo is equal to volume divided by storage factor, then I get this 109.09, well, kick and round off and make it 109.1 ton. Now let me define another useful term which is called permissible load density sometime you can also refer as simply load density well the permissible load density is the maximum weight that can be safely loaded on a unit area so permissible load density is load or weight which you are going to load divided by area and the unit is a ton per meter square suppose permissible load density is 8 ton per meter square then area is we had the shape where length was 10 meter and breadth was 8 so area is 80 meter square so I can easily find that maximum cargo that can be loaded is permissible load density multiplied by area so the load density is 8 ton per meter square and the area is 80 so I get 640 tons.